coming off a, a big victory last week against Hamlin down in St. Paul. Uh, coming off our bye week, uh, you know, you always worry a little bit about uh, being rusty, and I thought the first quarter we weren't uh, really uh, on our game, but um, uh, after that, we, we played really well. It was 7-6 going into the second quarter, and then we scored 30 unanswered points in the in the second quarter. Uh, offense really took over, and, and our defense, other than one drive, was phenomenal in the game. Uh, we gave up only 44 total yards. So in the second half, much the same. Um, our offense was able to click. We got our starters out by probably the middle of the third quarter. Everybody was out. So we got a chance to rest those guys and prepare for the game this week. So it was a good win, uh, good to get back on the field, which sets us up for this week. Um, uh, we play Concordia Moorhead, great football team. Uh, I think this is the best team they've had in a few years, uh, going back uh, uh, you know, maybe five, six, seven years. Uh, very talented group, uh, very physical, big, physical, fast. Um, this is a, a huge game for both teams. The winner goes on into the playoffs, loser season is done. So we know what's at stake. Our guys know what's at stake. Um, we're going to have to play great football tomorrow to come out with a win. But uh, our guys have prepared well all week, and we're looking forward to it. Uh, hope to see everybody out to Clemens Stadium tomorrow. It should be a great game, and uh, we need that hometown support. So look forward to seeing everybody out there. Last week, St. John's University traveled to St. Paul to play Hammond University, and the Johnnies came in with a convincing win, 72-6. to six. Um, Defensively, we had a, had a nice outing by our guys, uh, giving up only six first downs, I think, all in the first half, uh, 44 total yards of offense, uh, so I think negative yards in the second half. So did a nice job of containing uh, their, their passing attack and getting the football to our offense, who scored uh, with some long plays and some long drives and a lot of different ways. They got the ball in the end zone, but overall a good effort by the Johnnies. Uh, which leads into our final regular season game, a home game against Concordia College of uh, Moorhead. Um, this is obviously for a lot of lot in the money right now because the winning team probably gets a chance to move on to the, the playoffs in the NCAA tournament. Uh, so it's going to be a battle. Concordia College is one of the leading rushing teams in the country, I think six in the nation, a little over 300 yards. They don't throw the ball a whole lot, but are capable because they've got a pretty talented quarterback who was their backup beginning, but... He's 6'4", 230 pounds, runs the ball well, and along with their very talented running back, Johnson, uh, they can pose a, a real problem for you in the running game. So one of the things we need to do is hopefully we can control the running game to a point where it's not pounding at us all day long and we can get the football again to our offense and they can punch in the end zone and come away with a win. I thought uh, we played very well against Hamlin. We had a little hiccup the second and third drive, but overall we were very, very efficient. Um, threw the ball well. Jackson had a great game uh, throwing the ball and, and receivers. Uh, did, did some great things. Uh, a great uh, last, last touchdown for Evan was a spectacular run. He showed his speed, what he can do. So now we got to move on to Concordia, and, and uh, it truly is a playoff game for us. Uh, you know, we win, we keep playing. If we lose, uh, I guess we're done. So, uh, um, you know, we'll work hard. Uh, uh, we had a lot of success last year against Concordia running the ball, and we hope to build off of that.